Let's compare the fractions 1 6 and 2 thirds. So you could take and divide 1 by 6, get a decimal, 2 by 3, and get a decimal, and then just compare the decimals. That would tell you whether 1 6 is larger than 2 thirds. And you might be able to reason this out. 1 divided by 6 is probably a lot smaller than 2 divided by 3. The other way is we can find a common denominator and then compare the numerators. So we have 6 and 3 right now. We can find a number that 3 and 6 go into evenly. We could just compare the denominators. Why don't we do this? How about 3 times 2? Because that would equal 6 here. And up here we already have 6, so let's just call it 1 6 up here. But we can't just multiply the denominator by 2. We do need to multiply the numerator by 2 as well. 2 over 2 is 1. So we're just multiplying by 1. We don't change the value, just the way it's represented. 2 times 2, that is 4. And 4 6, that's the same as 2 thirds. But now, same denominator, we just compare the numerators. And 4 is greater than 1, so 4 6, that's greater than 1 6. Remember, we said these are equivalent fractions, so 2 thirds, that's greater than 1 6 as well. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.